And in broad terms, uh, our prescription, which we call green growth, is not trying to deny the fact that the extra two billion people and many, many billions more are going to want to improve their living standards and the security of their lives, rather than deny that, to say that the way we go about it is going to have to use resources much, much more efficiently. Now, the best way of doing that in many cases is to treat those resources as, they, as though they were really valuable, they really were scarce, and they should have a price put on them. If you want to think about how you head off the worst uh, that could uh, come our way, then you have to start thinking now. Uh, and that means uh, thinking seriously about the efficiency with which we use resources. Now, there's a huge amount of policy experience in little bits and pieces on how to do that. We need to generalise it. Solutions don't ever come from just one place. I'm quite clear that they're never going to come top down. Uh, there's no way that a big international conference will change the game big international conferences are important for raising consciousness, but at the end of the day, in the sort of world we live in, most key decisions get taken at national level. So it's going to be a question of governments engaging with their populations, engaging with business, explaining the long-term issues that we're trying to deal with, and thinking of a transition path. One thing that doesn't work is just imposing a solution from the top and then wondering why everyone uh, protests, sometimes in, in the streets and, 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 and pretty nastily. Uh, it's a question of explaining the issues and building a consensus for change which people feel they can adapt to. The more you can link those changes to real benefits, even if they're not today, but reasonably proximate benefits, the better.